really hats off of those guys. They, you know, Coach Coker does a great job, and they you just can't make mistakes against those guys. You know, we, they press so well and beat the press, and you know, it's just uh, they do a good job. And if you ever make mistakes, they capitalize on it. And, you know, we got behind early, and we've done that a lot this year. And, been able to overcome it, overcome it this year. I mean, up to this point, you know, it's hard to do against a team like that quality. So, you know, we dug that hole and just can't get out of it. Just talk about the third quarter, if you will. I mean, you guys seem to be getting you know, more confidence. Uh, well, we got some confidence. We went to the zone, which we didn't, you know, it seems crazy against a team like that that shoots it that well. But uh, went to a matchup zone and kind of just give them a different look. I don't think they see it a whole lot this year. And, you know, we thought, you know, it got, got us back in it. You know, we didn't. Didn't rebound one all out of it, and that kind of, you know, I think that kind of hurt us a little bit there, you know, when they got it back up. But, you know, it was a good run cut, but we just, you know, couldn't overcome We got too far behind it. So. Talk about the pace of the game you wanted to have against Pete, against Lane. Did you want to slow it down a little bit, or did you want to try to get a pace break once and keep the pace back? Well, we wanted to break the press, and then we thought once we got it to half court, we felt like we could attack, you know, and get, get downhill. And go score that way, but uh, of course I do, you know, it's what you plan to do, and once you can hit the mouth, you know, it's a little bit different, so, uh, you know, we just talked about breaking the press, they, they feed off the press so much, you know, and we, our our game plan all year is, you know, we, we like a game in the 50s and 60s, you know, they like it in the 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, they like to score a lot, so I would say, you know, we want to maybe slow it down a little bit, but, uh, you know, we felt like we could attack off if we could break, break the press, and, you know, we just didn't get wise on that early. So. When you three, you guys talk about facing, finally facing the way they shot the ball. You, you, you just watched on film, but now you experienced it live. What was it like playing a team that whenever they needed to have something happen, when you brought the game back, they hit a three and just got back to what they did? What was it like playing against that? Um, it was tough. You know, uh, you know, you see it all the time. You know, they hit 25 threes, they hit 23 threes, they hit 20 threes, they put up 104 on this team, 105 on that team. And, you know, when you finally get to see it and you make that one mistake, it's, it's three. And uh, that was tough, but uh, hats off to them. They're, they're a good team. Alex, what do you think about how they shot the ball? She did extremely well. I mean, we just thought we could. I don't know how many they hit. I feel like it was as many as 11. Bank and bring off the bank the first three of the threes, and then you got to put four, and then they get two really important ones in that third quarter to kind of work your momentum here. So, they shoot a little bit. I don't know if you ever try to get the team to shoot some more. Uh, no, not, not really. Not that good. Uh, okay. well, you know, the thing about it is, one three, 10, 11, 12, they all can do it. You know, it's not like you can say, well, one, one or two guys, well, let's, you know, let's guard this guy or that guy. It's, if he can put any of his 10, 11 guys can shoot it like that, and that's what makes it so dangerous. So, and like Sai said, if you make up one mistake, you know, it's they bury it and you're in a hole. So. What's it like game planning for, for that situation? I mean, it, it has to be a headache. You know, we just, you know, when D-Lo in the game, we, you know, we, it's a, he's a matchup problem. You know, it's, it's hard for him to step out and go on big room, you know, and, uh, but we thought he did a good job. We felt like we could make him drive at him, you know. That's why we wanted to send the defense, you know, and uh, make him try to drive at him. And, you know, he does get such a good job protecting the rim. So it's hard to game plan for somebody that shoots it that way. You never know, you know. Like I said, some nights they hit 20 and some, you know, the night they hit 11, you know. So. Talk. He's rocked the bucket on Monday, John, more than it says on the stat sheet there. Yeah, I think he says he has – I think it says he had four. I felt like he had four on one trip. You know, but, uh, <laughs> You know, I, we talked about it last, I think last time we was in after we played uh, Hansville. They're, I mean, he means the world to us. I mean, like these guys know, you know, if, they, if, you're man, if, if he goes by, you do those things make their way to the pocket, you know, and he's, you know, he affects the game in so many ways. And, then, you know, like, then we talked about it. He, one game he didn't even shoot the ball. You know, I think it was Sacks in the air tournament. He didn't even attempt a shot. But, you know, he affects David, Coach Miller Sacks was talking about how he, he changed the game, you know. So he changed, you know, he affects it so much, you know, rebounding and defensively. It's nice to have him. You know, we're really going to miss him next year. They did such a good job switching on the screen seamlessly. Did that take away some of the set plays you guys had, the way they were switching? 
life scout so well. I mean, Coach Coach Coker, I think he's probably got every game film we've seen, you know we've played, and uh, they'll call out our plays. You know, we call a play and they call it out. You know, they they probably know our plays better than we do. You know, and that's great. Good coaching. I mean, they do a great job. They do a great job in the film session, and uh, um, but we felt like we could still run some stuff. You know, we did. We felt like we got some shots. We just you know they didn't fall far us early, and we got behind, and you know uh, they do such a you know good job. Switching everything and playing such good defense, you know they're they're not very big, but you know they're physical and they play hard and they switch everything and they match up real well. So and they're still able to cover the post. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean Milliken, he does a great job covering the post. You know he's outsized a lot of games, but he's you know he's so tough on the inside guarding people. So. It's like fast twitch rhythm is so important to their offense. That it what how did the matchup zone serve to kind of slow that rhythm down or make them think a little more? We, we went back to last year. We, the game they, we watched them play Talladega on film last year. I think it was here in the TV 24 thing that they have down here at JSU. Uh, Talladega played them in the 2-3 zone, and they slowed them down. I think the score was in the 40s. You know, and it just kind of, they don't get all the movement they, you know, that they normally do. I mean, they have sets on they run out of it, you know, but uh, it just kind of slowed it down, which played in our favor. You know, and again, we just lost them on a couple shots. And when you lose them, they make it. And, you buy an eight ball, so. Well, you guys, uh, setting the foundation as everything went this year and then heading into the next season, uh, for all three of you guys, a message that you kind of want to send to next year's team heading into things, uh, establishing goals and establishing this ideals you guys want to have for the players that are going to be coming out, the players that are going to be returning and so forth like that. My star, these two guys are coming back, so that's a good thing. I mean, I'm glad to have these two guys on, you know, playing for me. Uh, you know, we talked about in the locker room before we came in here. You, you know, we'll, we'll miss those four seniors, but you know, these guys have been here now. We know, you know, we know what it's going to take to get there. And the goal, of course, is to get here and win that, win this game. You know, make the final four and you know, go from there and see what we can do. So, I would say that's the ultimate goal. You know, our ultimate goal is winning. You know, our state championship. But you know, we got to get over that plain view hunt right now. And uh, you know, that's that's our goal. So, you know, and again, having these guys back, we got some good young guys coming. So. Uh, let them address it and what their goals are. Um, it, you know, this, the seniors, they, they set a good bar for us. Uh, young guys, you know, they, you know, they in the locker room, they're telling us, you know, y'all got them next year, you know, just keep playing. And uh, they have faith in, faith in us, and I think that'll help with us a lot, you know. Uh, we're going to have a real good team next year. We're going to come out strong, and uh, as soon as we start getting back in the gym, we're just going to try to get over this plane to be home. Uh, I don't know how many times you out for more than us, senior wise, so I think that's beneficial for us. You know, I don't know how many they got, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot. Uh, I think you know, we just got to step up and fill those seniors' roles and big shoes to fill. Those guys are outstanding. What did you think of your first year of baseball? 30 minutes at the end of your first season in Waco. That's a fun ride. You know, that's what Coach Glover summed up in there a while ago. You know, it was fun. That's the best thing about it was these guys and our, the whole team, you know, they're fun to be around. You know, they're great guys, great teammates, great kids. And, uh, you know, I think of them all as my own kids, you know. And I told them, you know, you know they need me, I'm there for them. And, you know, it was a great ride. And then, you know, they set a high bar for me. You know, it was my first team. And, I always remember, you know, the seniors, of course, and the whole group. You know, it's, it just—it was a really, really fun bunch, a really good, fun year this year. We were going to do about this long when we started, and we started a week after football, so we didn't have a whole lot of time. But uh, and then we, you know, the big long winning streak and all that stuff. So, uh, so we had a, an expectation. Uh, I mean, I think we felt like we could be here. You know, I know these guys felt like they could be here, so you know. Uh, I felt like we had a shot, you know, and I don't think we we felt like we had a shot to win this one today. You know, we could have believed it. And we, you know, we cut it to seven there and we're going forward. We thought we were out there and, you know, could get back in it. So, uh, as far as what we thought going into the year, you know, I don't know if we exceeded expectations. I guess we did probably did. I don't, if you tell me we were 23 and six, you know, but uh, it was a good run. Appreciate it, guys.